Hello students, I am Barsha Vaishali, your teacher for today's class. Hope you all are doing well and enjoying your studying. Today we are going to study about another successful women achiever of the world. We are going to read about a very successful tennis player, Maria Sharapova. She was a Russian girl who in spite of all her struggles, in spite of all the odds in her life, she achieved success and it was not that easy for her to reach to this point where she is but her firm determination and her mental toughness again helped her to pursue her dream in a very beautiful way. So today we are going to read about her success saga, how she overcame all these hurdles, how she took it as a challenge and in spite of all the odds and hurdles in her life, how she rose to success. So let's start. Before we start the chapter, you would see a box in which many phrases are given. Along with that, in another side, you are given the meanings of the phrases. What you have to do, you have to match them. Okay, It's all in a jumbled order. You have to get the right word, the right phrase with the right meaning. Yes, I know you all are smart enough, but I would discuss it with all of you. Let us see how correct you are. Something disarming. The meaning of it is something that makes you feel friendly, taking away all your suspiciousness. Okay, When you are getting doubtful about something, when you have suspicion in your mind, but when you see that, it makes you feel friendly towards it. That is called disarming. Next is at odds with. The meaning of it is in contrast to not agreeing with. When somebody doesn't go along with the things, it doesn't match, it doesn't fit, it's just contrary. That is at odds with. Okay. The next one is glamorous attire. You should know attire means your dress. And here you have got the right meaning, attractive and exciting clothes. Glamorous attire means attractive and exciting clothes. Next you have in almost no time. That means immediately. Yes, quickly, almost, immediately. Next we have poised beyond her years. That means more calm, confident and in control than people of her age usually are. So what actually usually she should be, but she is not that. She is far more calm and confident, which is not a trait of the people of her age. It is beyond her years. Okay. Now let us move to the next phrase. It is packed off. Here in this story, packed off means sent off. She was sent off. Okay. Next one is launched. Launched means started. Launched means started. The last phrase which you see is heart wrenching. Heart wrenching means causing strong feelings of sadness. When you are very very sad about something that is heart wrenching. It tears your heart apart. It's heart wrenching. That's called heart wrenching. Now let us move towards our chapter. It's a very inspiring story of Maria Sharapova. I do hope that you all will enjoy it a lot and will also take the important lessons for your life which will help you to achieve your goal in your life. Okay. Here is the first paragraph. There is something disarming about Maria Sharapova something at odds with her ready smile and glamorous attire. Here the writer wants to say that Maria Sharapova, you would see her always with a smile and in stylish and fashionable clothes. We have already discussed attire means your dress. 
It's very stylish, fashionable, glamorous attire. She is always dressed glamorously in a fashionable way and always ready with her cheerful, charming smile. But there is something disarming. But there is something likable about Maria Sharapova. Something which is not going along with her smile and glamorous attire. The writer wants to say it that way. That when you see her smiling in this fashionable attire, that means when you see her always with a charming smile and with the fashionable clothes, you will find something suspicious, but that also is liked by her fans. And that something which is not going along with her smile and the glamorous attire, which is in contrast with her smile and fashionable clothes, that special element which her fans like about her, that particular thing helped her to reach her goal. There it is in the next line. And that something in her lifted her on Monday, 22nd August 2005 to the world number one position in women's tennis. So she was the women tennis player who rose to the number one position in the women's tennis. So it was a very proud moment for her. It was the day, a very special day in her life because that was the day where she got the first position in women's tennis. All this happened in almost no time. In almost no time means very quickly, very fast, very immediately. It was such a proud and special day for her. The day was 22nd August 2005 because that was the day when she was at the top most position in women's tennis. So who will not be happy? And that was the reason for her happiness as well. All this happened in almost no time, students. This all happened so quickly, immediately. That is in almost no time. We have already learned about this. In almost no time means very, very fast, very quickly. Poised beyond her years. Poised means calm and elegant. So she is such a player who is very calm and very elegant. But this calmness, this elegance which she possesses is not usually seen at her age because she is very, very young. The writer wants to say poised beyond her years which is not usual for the girls of her age but she has that poise, she has that grace, she has that elegance, she has that calmness. Okay, which is beyond her years, which is not usually a trait, which is not usually a characteristic for the people of her age. But she possesses that. The Siberian born teenager took just four years as a professional to reach the pinnacle. So she is a Siberian. She was born in Siberia, which is in Russia. And she is a teenager. Teenager when you are in your teens. Your teen age is from the age 13 to 19. So she was in her teens and she took just four years. Can you imagine? It was just four years. At such a young age, she rose to all success. And that too as a professional tennis player. As the professional tennis players, they play. She was also playing exactly like them. She was very excellent in her field, in her sport, in tennis, of course. And she reached the pinnacle. Pinnacle is the most important, the most successful point of success. That is known as pinnacle. Pinnacle means the most successful point of your success story. That is called pinnacle. Now let us move to the next part. However, the rapid ascent in a fiercely competitive world began nine years before with a level of sacrifice few children would be prepared to endure. Rapid means fast. Ascent means the growth. A-S-C-E-N-T. Ascent means the growth, the development. You have the opposite, the antonym of ascent is descent when there is a downfall. That is D-E-S-C-E-N-T. Here it is ascent. Ascent means upgradation, growth. 
So the fast growth of Sharapova in this fierce competitive world where everybody is aggressive, fierce means very very aggressive, very very competitive to reach to the point of success. Her journey of success began 9 years before. So she had to go through a lot of sacrifice which usually at her age any child will not be able to be prepared to endure. Endure means suffer patiently. Tolerate. You can say she had a lot of patience. She had a lot of tolerance which at her age is not that common. So she was all set. She was all prepared at such a young age to suffer patiently and she had made so many sacrifices at this young age to reach where she was. Little Maria had not yet celebrated her 10th birthday when she was packed off to train in the United States. Isn't it unbelievable student? Little Maria who was hardly 9 years old because she had not yet celebrated her 10th birthday. She had not yet celebrated her 10th birthday that means she was hardly 9 years old. At such young age she was packed off, packed off is sent off to train herself for the training in the United States. As we know she was a resident of Siberia, she was a Russian girl but for the training purpose she had to go to United States of America. That trip to Florida with her father Yuri launched her on the path to success and stardom. So she had to move to United States of America to Florida. Florida was the city where she had to get her training and her father her strongest pillar of support. Okay, So he was with her, her father was Yuri. So he launched her, he started this journey for her and this was the first step of her success journey. This was the path to success and stardom. So her father Yuri helped her to move on this path of success and stardom. Stardom is all the popularity, all the attention she got after her success. But it also required a heart wrenching two year separation from her mother Yelena. But students you should know that success is not that easy. It doesn't come so easily to the people. It has always a price to pay for and Maria has also paid a price for her success. She got through a very tough time. She required a heart wrenching two year separation. She could not see her mother. It was very very sad phase for her. Heart wrenching is extremely sad. So it required a heart wrenching two year separation. She had to stay away from her mother. She was separated from her mother Yelena for two years. Can you imagine the pain she went through? The latter was compelled. Latter is the mother who is already mentioned. The latter mother Yelena who is mentioned at the later phase. So her mother Yelena she was compelled. She was forced to stay back in Siberia because of visa restrictions. There are a lot of procedures you have to follow when you have to travel from one country to another. So they had to travel to United States of America from Russia and her mother had some complications so she was not allowed she had some problems regarding her visa so she was not allowed to travel along with her husband and her daughter so it was a very painful phase for all of the family members the father the daughter and the mother as well but this didn't stop Maria to reach her goal. The nine year old girl had already learnt an important lesson in life that tennis excellence would only come at a price. The point we were discussing that it is really important to reach the success in your life with a price. It is a very important lesson in your life that if you have to achieve something then you have to pay a price for that. As it is said no pains no gains. So if you want to gain something you have to endure the pain for that. And Maria at such a young age 
has already learned it that she would get the excellence in tennis she would get the success and perfection in tennis only with a price the price of separation from her mother the price of detachment the price of extreme sadness so this was all about her journey when she started towards training okay students so now let us know what happened next i used to be so lonely maria sharapova recalls she remembers her past that when she was getting the training in united states of america she was so lonely she was all alone nobody was there i missed my mother terribly my father was working as much as he could to keep my tennis training going so he couldn't see me either she was separated from her parents first of all her mother was not there along with her because of the restrictions in visa she was not allowed to go along with her apart from that her father was working day and night to get her all those training perfectly for her secure future he was working very hard so even her father was not able to meet her she was desperately missing her parents but she had no other option because she had to get the training for her future because i was so young i used to go to bed at 8 pm the other tennis pupils would come in at 11 pm and wake me up and order me to tidy up the room and clean it now this is the part of the experience she shares when she was at the training place so because she was very young she had a habit to go to bed early she used to go to bed at 8 o'clock in the night but the other tennis pupils pupils means students so the other students those who were also learning or getting the training for tennis they came late late means at 11 o'clock in the night and when they came they would wake this little girl this girl who had already slept at 8 o'clock early they would wake her up and order her to clean tidy up means to clean the room to arrange all the mess and clean the room it was very bad isn't it it's a kind of bullying you can say which happens in some of the places where the students those who are senior they uh, bully the juniors and they make them some work do so she was not happy with it anybody will not feel so instead of letting that depress me i became more quietly determined and mentally tough so if it would have been any other child it would have taken him down it would have suppressed the desire for learning tennis but in the case of maria it didn't happen because she was very strong mentally she was quite focused for her goal so she says all that insult all those humiliations which i went through which the pupils entrusted upon me it didn't let me lose my will power i didn't lose my hope it didn't allow me to depress me depress means when you feel very very bad about something and you give up you quit things and you don't want to do you become very very sad so she didn't become depressed rather she became focused and very very strong mentally i learned how to take care of myself i never thought of quitting quitting means to give up to leave whatever she was doing because i knew what i wanted maria emphasizes that never the thought of leaving the things came to her mind because she knew what was her goal what did she want why had she come there so that's why she kept on working for her goal when you come from nothing and you have nothing then it makes you very hungry and determined this is a very important sentence in the chapter students you should note it that when you come from nothing when you are very very 
poor or when you don't have anything with you and you don't have anything to lose when you come from nothing you are coming from a background where you didn't have anything at all and you have nothing to lose so that particular situation those adversities those challenges make you really very very hungry and determined they make you stronger to focus on your goal and that happened exactly with maria i would have put up with much more humiliation and insults than that to steadfastly pursue my dream she said this was okay whatever happened with me but if it would have been more if there would have been more humiliation means embarrassing moments the insults which the older students the tennis pupils did with her so if it would have been more still then nothing could have shaken her from her goal because she had only one dream in her mind that she had to learn tennis so even if it would have been more humiliations and insults for her till then she would have never left or never quitted her dream and that's why she is where she is now students it is so enthralling to learn about such important parts and facts in the life of maria sharapova and she has more exciting adventures in her life which we are going to learn in our next part let us discuss some questions from this part i do hope that you have understood and will be able to answer so my question is what was the reason for which maria's mother could not go to united states of america along with her what was the reason for which maria sharapova's mother could not accompany her for her tennis training to the united states of america yes you people are absolutely correct the answer is that she was not allowed to accompany her daughter for the training in the united states of america due to restrictions of visa now there is another question for you the question is what was maria's message for her countrymen of russia what was the message of maria sharapova for her countrymen of russia yes you are absolutely right students her message for her countrymen in russia was that no doubt she has spent a lot of time in united states of america and has learned a lot from united states but she is russian by blood and if russian government want her to play for the olympics she will definitely play on behalf of russia and she was proud to be a russian so you can write it that because of her love for her country russia she wanted to play on behalf of her country russia in the olympics because she felt that she was a russian by blood okay so that's all for today hope to meet you soon in our next session where we will be discussing about the struggles and hardships and how she overcame all of them to become successful thank you